Hey there, fellow broomheads. Let me guess. I bet you all had completely given up on getting any more Degrassi content from me. Well, surprise! I've decided to deliver today. This may not be as exciting as a watch along, but I thought I would do another favorites list. This video is going to be my favorite Degrassi Junior High and Degrassi High episodes. And girl, I got it narrowed down to 10. I know you're probably asking me, why are you wearing a jacket inside? And I don't understand why more people don't wear a jacket inside. I'll probably end up taking it off because I just turned my heat on, but we're going to go with this for now. So without further ado, let's talk about my top favorite episodes of GJH and DH. Number one, what a night. And I'll read you the synopsis from the internet. Lucy and Vula get picked up for shoplifting. Stephanie meets a handsome soap opera star and lies to him about her age. So, you probably remember this episode. It's great. It's hilarious. Lucy and Vula, the contrast is amazing. And early Lucy is actually kind of rebellious, has a really bad attitude. Um, it's weird how they just scrapped that by high school. But it's fun to remember her early days of IDGAF. Also, in this episode, we get the Vula makeover when Lucy makes over Vula. Hilarious. I don't know why they're friends. And then we also get this B plot, which is great. It is Stephanie K and the twins, my favorites besides Lucy, of course. And we get to kind of get a more candid look at the friendship between the three of them. And we get to see how far Stephanie really is willing to go. And of course, I know Damon King is kind of a rapist, but He's hilarious to laugh at. He's a fun little um, comedic, uh, meme-worthy character to look back on. And finally, in this episode, Stephanie Kay's streetwear for her nighttime date is just fantastic. Favorite episode number two, Sealed with a Kiss. Erica claims to be more mature than her twin, Heather. Erica then has a romantic encounter with a high school boy, but it all goes wrong. Okay, you'll notice a pattern here. This is another twin episode and a dance episode. Two of my favorite things in Degrassi. We have the topic of French kissing, which is new to a lot of the characters, so it's always hilarious. And we have the classic line from Alexa. Well, at least he didn't give you AIDS. As you may recall, this is where Erica starts making out with this guy and gets mono, or so she thinks. And Heather ends up getting kissed by the same guy. And now they both think they have mono. And it's just a cute, it's a cute little plot there. And also, you do start to see Stephanie K becoming depressed. And this is a lead-in to my next favorite episode, number three, Dog Days. Stephanie goes into a deep depression and Arthur gets attached to the do a dog he found, which he named Phil. So this episode starts out with, again, something that's not really funny, but if you take it out of context, it's funny. Where Stephanie K like sits up in bed and goes, I wish I was dead. Depression's not funny, but we, we've all said something like that before, right? I really like seeing this other side of Stephanie K. Not that I want her to be depressed, but just being able to go with her on her ups and downs. The way her clothing changes and everything the way her attitude changes she just like doesn't care anymore but there are also some great moments there like when she tells off jerry her new potential stepdad hilarious she is becoming depressed because she can't date simon she really can't land any guy her mom's maybe gonna get married again oh and her dad wants custody of her there's all kinds of stuff going on and then of course we have the Phil storyline, the storyline you can smell. My favorite episode number four, Star Crossed. You guessed it, another twin episode. Erica trades identities with her twin sister to pursue a boy. Alexa and Simon reconcile. I don't know why they put Alexa and Simon as the B plot because I barely remember that. It's not really something that stands out with this episode. But what does stand out is Erica has a crush on Clutch, which Clutch, he's kind of rapey too, right? But we all just kind of look past it. I don't know why, okay? 
but he's a babe. He's a babe, and Erica's a babe, and how great would it have been if they could have been this babelicious couple? So Erica wants to ask him out. Clutch thinks that Heather went to ask him out, so he asks Heather out. Anyway, long story short, the twins swap, which is always fun, twin antics, but it turns out Clutch likes Lucy. And then Alexa was doing something to Simon, and then she goes and apologizes to him, but, oh, and she says, I just love happy endings, don't you? And being that I blog about Degrassi fashion, I do have to say that the fashion in this episode, particularly that of the twins, is just beautiful. Favorite episode number five, Everybody Wants Something. We are in Degrassi High now. A hate campaign against Erica escalates, and she is determined to find out who is putting pro-life pamphlets, pamph pamphlets and slogans on her locker. The Zits make their video. When I think of this episode, to me this is the Zits music video episode. I feel like that's the A plot. I don't know. It's just a fun time. We get Wheels, the twins, Lucy, Clutch, and it's just good fun. And I love that it's, it's realistic. It's a crap video, but that's what teenagers make, right? I love that like degree of just simple realism to it. And then it's just kind of a lighthearted fun time that we don't always get a lot of. And even like when they all want to go out for burgers afterwards, I'm like, I'm gonna go. And then the other plot here is Liz is harassing Erica and then Erica finally gets to beat her ass. Oh yeah, we also get, is this where Caitlin breaks up with Joey? I think this is where Caitlin breaks up with Joey and he finally shuts up for once. Favorite episode number six, Just Friends. Another twin episode. Heather has a crush on wheels and plans a party so that she'll have a chance to get closer to him. Meanwhile, LD is hospitalized. Again, some of my favorite elements here. The twins and a party. Also wheels. Also Moonlight Desires. I don't know, this was just a kiss. I mean, there's not a lot of passionate kissing so far. Am I right? Is it? I'm not seeing any passionate kisses sticking out in my mind right now. So this was like a, whoa, whoa, okay, kind of moment. I don't know what's what Wheels' problem is. We also get another little B-plot here. The Have Not Club. Have Nots? Have Not Club. Diana, Melanie, Kathleen. And their little like accessibility communication problem with Maya, which I thought was very informative. But this episode isn't all fun and games because we find out that LD has leukemia. And that sucks. Um, it's really sad. The actor did a really good job. Favorite episode number seven, Little White Lies. Diana is determined to grow up and sneaks out to a party. Meanwhile, Joey Snake and Wheels decide it's time they expanded their horizons a little and attend a strip show. So I remember the first time I watched this episode and I remember seeing Diana smoking at the beginning and I was like, Okay, I thought Diana was finally gonna like have raised to prominence in the show, maybe become more more of a main character. And I was excited. I was excited to see um, what would happen. And I loved the whole teenage rebellion thing. And I just I don't know. I liked her mo like hearing about her motivations and like seeing what kind of stuff she'd get up to, and just like her trying so hard to be this cool girl. And all the clothes she wears in that episode are just great. The pink outfit is a winner. But the strip club thing is also amazing. It's just so cool to get a little look inside of an 80s strip club. And the 80s um, ladies of the night. <laughs> the 80s ladies of the night as reported to you here by Katie of the night are also just great. It's time to lose this jacket now. Favorite episode number eight, It Creeps. And I know some of you hate this episode and know that it's one of my favorite episodes. Lucy becomes director and writer of her first film, a feminist horror flick starring the Zitz, Simon, 
Caitlin and with Alexa, Tim and Heather as the crew. Like everybody wants something, this is just an episode where where they just have fun. It's just good fun and it, it's cool to kind of see the characters' personalities come out like not in a in an educational or situational way. It's just like Lucy being Lucy, Snake being Snake or whatever. I just think it's really fun. I also love horror movies. And I liked the lesson at the end. Just the whole idea of what you set out to do isn't how it turns out necessarily. But you can still stand by your work. Favorite episode number nine, The All Nighter. Now, probably anybody would have this on their list of favorite episodes. It is one of the most iconic episodes of Degrassi High. Melanie's surprise sleepover promises to hold more than one surprise when Kathleen finds some marijuana. Just, like I said, iconic. Kathleen knows how to smoke up. Everybody is more than willing to participate. And then we have Melanie is spilling out all of Kathleen's secrets and giggling about it. <laughs> and we also have the boys sleepover, which is very tame in comparison. But seeing like Luke, Joey, Yick... And this was Arthur. Um, and they're playing poker and just having a good time. Like, that's more of the just have good time kind of episodes that I like. And, you know, it's a party. I love parties. I wish we could have seen more slumber parties in Degrassi. But you all know. You all know why that episode is on the list. And my last ep favorite episode on this list is Extracurricular Activities. Lucy, Heather, and Erica hear the rumor that their favorite band, the Savages, are making a rock video at the school. And if you may recall, they get all gussied up and decide to sneak in and unfortunately get busted. But that's another just fun time. And of course, Lucy and the twins in one episode. A little fun story actually, when I was visiting Degrassi High, Centennial College in Toronto, my friends and I recreated that little scene where everyone's running down the hall to try to hide from Radish, but you had to like get down because there are windows. So you had to like run, but you were like running crouched down. We all did that together. It was super special. <laughs> and there we have it. My favorite episodes are Degrassi Junior High and Degrassi High. Let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know other requests you have for Degrassi videos. I know I still have to do least favorite episodes of both generations. So I will get to that soon. It's been fun and we will see you later, Broomheads. Bye.